Chopin, at the age of 20, left Warsaw never to return. Although he once remarked that he was not interested in local praise, Frederick's life in Paris would always be haunted by memories of Poland, his family, and the friends of his childhood. Things did not go well for him at first in France, and for a while he thought of leaving for America. But his reputation as a pianist grew swiftly and shortly assured him of a teaching career. He earned his living in Paris by giving lessons to wealthy and for the most part untalented aristocrats for today's equivalent of $20 per hour. One of his pupils, a young boy named Filch, was, had studied with Liszt, and he writes to his parents one day, he said, you know, working with Liszt is incredible, great experience, but working with Chopin is incomparable. One of his great, greatest points was equality of playing, equality of sound. He said something very beautiful. He was not one of the school who said, you know, work each one of those fingers. <laughs> work each one of those fingers so they become equal in strength. Each finger has its own job to do. Don't try to make them all even. A very, uh, very interesting concept. Let me show you this exercise that he would give. First he said, this, these were the notes he said to put your hands on. Not the straight, but leaned a little bit to the side, which is the normal position in which your hand is put, really, when it's on a piano. So he would start by giving this exercise. In both hands, left hand, just lightly and evenly. Then, with another touch, a little more sustained. saying facilement, easily, 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 never any tension. And then, at the end, forte and piano, to get control in both forte playing, which means loud playing, as well as in soft playing. Very important to keep when you play softly you need as much control as you do when you play loudly so that was one exercise that he that he used another uh, he had the feeling that the hand should be always kept with a minimum of motion no matter what you did minimal motion so he gave this exercise <laughs> didn't want to happen was this. So the hand moves, you see, like that. He wanted to keep it, keep it straight. No matter what happens, keep it straight. It's a very, very, very good training. Uh, so you can bend the rules later, but first you must learn the rules. And this he knew very well. Uh, so he was very, very strong about that. <laughs>